Supervisor Nathan Fletcher expressed some optimism today that San Diego County could move from the purple tier into the less restrictive red tier in the next few weeks. Today, he said that he's encouraged by the general direction the county is going, but acknowledged that vaccine supply is not keeping up with the demand. We are also nearing the milestone of administering our one millionth vaccine in San Diego County. Uh, but that is also met with the sobering reality that we have a shortage of vaccines. Uh, we, uh, many of our sites are struggling. Uh, again, they don't make the vaccine, uh, but they are working as, as hard as they can to try and honor those second dose appointments. Um, and we are also trying to ensure that, that we can get as many vaccines as possible uh, into these new tiers that have been stood up for our teachers and education staff, uh, for our emergency responders and for our food and agricultural workers. And so we are going to uh, continue to do uh, everything that we can. Fletcher did not say when the county is expecting to get the newly approved Johnson and Johnson vaccine, but if the county does move into the red tier, it would mean that indoor dining could resume and gyms and theaters would be able to reopen. Governor Newsom, meanwhile, did indicate today that vaccination rates could soon factor into the decisions when it comes to the tiered system. As for the numbers today, 352 new cases of coronavirus reported in San Diego County and 25 more deaths related to COVID, bringing the county's total now to 3,342. To San Diegans. Right now, 437 people are in the hospital with the virus, including 148 in the ICU. And as of today, 10.7% of county residents have received both doses of the vaccine.